Mama's Boys. In this program, we will meet priests from around the globe. We will discuss interesting features of their lives, from their humble beginnings, their calling, the churches, and more. Our guest for today was a former assistant secretary of the late Jaime Cardinal Sin. He has written and composed over 70 songs and was given an award from different respective award-giving bodies. Let us get to know more about Father Carlo Magno Marcelo. Father, uh, thank you so much for allowing us to interview you po. So kindly share uh, personal information about you. Okay, uh, so I'm Father Carlo Magno Marcelo. No? Uh, I hail from Pasig. So, tiga Pasig ako. Lumaki ako sa Pasig. I studied in a, in a Catholic school, parochial school, Pasig Catholic College, from kinder to high school. No? At uh, it is also when I was in that school that I learned how to play the organ. No? Kasi nangailangan yung parish church ng young organist. No? And so I volunteered. No? That's why I became involved with uh, church music later on. No? Then, uh, hindi ako pumasok agad ng seminary. So, though there was a congregation that was inviting me immediately after high school. Instead, ano, I, I decided to have a fourth taste of uh, college life. No? So, uh, hindi naman nagtagal yung college life ko, two years lang, before I really decided to enter uh, the seminary. I took, uh, of all courses, veterinary medicine, <laughs> no, preparatory, no? and then uh, after two years, I and my classmates in high school and also my uh, body sa university decided to take our chance in San Carlos Seminary. We passed, then uh, pareho kami naging pare. High school classmate ko, seatmate ko, and also a friend. Oh, yeah. How did you come up in choosing uh, to enter the seminary, Father? Actually, ano yan eh, uh, persistent yung invitation ng Diyos, no? Although, hindi ako yun yung gusto ko magpare nung bata pa ako. Although, uh, I got uh, parang inspired by the priest in his kasak. Kasi under the Belgians kami, si ICM, and they always walk around the school in their sutana. Uh, at alam mo ng Belgians, yung mga... Belgian fathers namin, ang tatangkad. Actually, when I got inspired, yung Belgian priest was, uh, looks like uh, si Superman, si Christopher Reeve, no? Oh, tatangkad. Tapos may aso pa siya. So we are always uh, uh, playing with the dog and everything. And so I decided, I wanted to be a good person like the priest. Hindi ko alam, yung pala ang start nung seed ng vocation. I, I didn't want to become a priest. I wanted to become a, I wanted to imitate him, a good person. As do na next start until I discern na ang kulit ng Dios. Let's give him a chance. I would like to give him a chance to taste the seminary life. And then I liked it. Then don't ko na realize yung calling ko. How many years have you been in the ministry, po, Father? Uh, 28 years na ako as a priest this coming November. Uh, currently, po, what's your role or uh, position in the Archdiocese? Uh, I'm now the Parabang Minister in charge of the ca uh, Catholic Education and Catechetical Education no, sa Manila. Uh, ang, ang much of my work is really taking care of the professional catechists of the Archdiocese. There are around 200 no, uh, assigned in the parishes and now part of them, they're working the social media ng aming foundation. Uh, what were your previous assignments? Uh, lagi ako sa academe. No? So my first assignment was uh, in the minor seminary. And then, uh, mga one and a half years. Then, more than a year naman sa office ni Jaime Cardinal Sin. I became an assistant secretary. And then later on, for a short 
few months as secretary. And then I was running the seminary for the longest time, 19 years lang naman. <laughs> and then, uh, now I, I think I'm my sixth year now here in the foundation of the uh, Catechetical Foundation of the Archdiocese of Manila as minister to the Catholic. Father, if I may ask po, ano, uh, why did you choose to become a priest? Uh, just like what I said, uh, persistent yung invitation. No? It's always there. I have my ambitions, no? eh, but then suddenly there is always this invitation to thesis. So I always find myself praying. Sa university, bago ang bus stop ko, dadang ka muna ng chapel. So every day, wala akong magawa. So the chapel muna ako, then I go home. Alam mo doon, unti-unti kung na-discern yung, yung lakas ng tawag. So ganun na nangyari. Nung high school ako, I was always involved with a, a religious group. No? So yun, another sign. Until I was able to read the signs, yun. How about in your family po, Father? Do you have uh, relatives who are priests, nuns? Uh, sa mother's side ko, meron kaming uh, kamag-anak na pare, ng senior. Unfortunately, hindi ko siya nakilala. Pero yung kaklasiko nung pumasok ko sa seminary, chuhin-chuhin niya. Pero kamag-anak ko rin pala. Pero I never knew him personally. So, yun lang. But they, in my father's side, they always wanted to have a priest in the family. Who are your inspirations po? Saan? Sa priesthood? Yes. Uh, First, yung uh, si ICM father na yun, no? uh, because he projected uh, holiness and uh, approachability. And then, uh, of course, I was able to have as parish priest and then later as my boss in a commission, si uh, Monsignor Manuel Sobrevinas, no? who became bishop. No? And he passed away recently. No? Uh, very, very humble and hardworking. No? It's nice to be secretary, less ang work mo. <laughs> he, he does all the typing. <laughs> so he was very good and very. Ano. And then later on, in my stay in the seminary, there is this uh, uh, Father Albert Merskert, uh, si ICM missionary, uh, my spiritual director. And a Swiss priest helped me a lot, si Father Anton Weber in the Pocolari movement. So these are my inspiration. And some music, si Father Jan Van Disteen. Speaking of music, po, Father, uh, uh, you said a while ago that you learned uh, playing piano at the, uh, the organ at the young age. Po. How did you get interested in music? Po? Oh. Actually, I was ko late na rin kasi I was around 13 years old. No? Uh, it was never a hobby because I was not playing piano sa bahay, no? Pero my father loves to play the guitar. Every morning you get to hear him. Eh, sundalo. So, lagi nagpapatugtog ng band music. So, alam nyo kasi, the ear gets trained eh. So, so hindi naman siya ang favorite thing ko, hobby. I like fish, aquarium enthusiast ako, gardening, uh, painting, no? But then, because there was a need in the parish, free ang lessons, so I grabbed the opportunity. Sampu kami mga estudyante, dalawa kami nag-survive, dalawa kami nakagraduate, yung matali kong kaibigan. And there, I started uh, serving as an organist. Doon ko na napabayaan yung iba kong hobby, like painting and other things. Kasi service eh. So, yeah. What were your significant compositions for father? Uh, hindi naman marami. <laughs> <There's> the... <laughs> hindi naman marami kasi uh, hindi siya hobby. So, when I'm inspired, I, uh, hindi ako yung may nangyari sa buhay ko, I write a song. No? Kailangan, ano, I must be forced to write a song by, I'm being commissioned. So, we need this song. We have an event. Doon lang ako actually gumagawa. Kaya lang, naparami yung events. Kaya halos parang minsan, parang taon-taon. Oo, kasi ano ako, eh, cheap ako eh. Uh, inuutusan lang ako tapos they don't pay much kasi I don't accept payments but you have to pay for the production kasi since I seldom compose one or two songs a year I want it recorded so ganyan so of course the Jubilee song uh, for four years kasi ginamit kaya na, naging popular siya and then uh, kala nila lahat ng song na ginagawa ko parang Jubilee song so ako rin ang pinasulat sa uh, Fourth World Meeting of Families Only Selfless Love no and then later on, lumawas yung awit sa ina ng Santo Rosario, 
Pilipinong pari ni Cristo, and then other songs then for church events. And ngayon yung We Give Our Yes. Want to know more of Father Carlos' episode? Tune in to Limang Siglo's YouTube channel for the second part of our interview. There you have it, guys. Thank you for joining us in this episode of Mama's Boys. Hope to see you in our future episode. This has been your host, Karen Dane. Jamatarai shune! Listen to Father Carlo Magno's songs, available on Spotify and Apple Music. <music>